Be careful where you park. The defenders have followed multiple investigations of predatory towing, and now we're learning of yet another incident. Tonight, a family is speaking out after their daughter's Jeep was parked in the wrong place, and it ended up costing them thousands. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton has the story. That's not what you want to hear or see. My heart dropped. When you're on a date, just ask Sydney Moore, a freshman college student. Frustrating. Didn't make it to the concert. She admits her Jeep was parked in the wrong place at the wrong time. And turns out it was my car being towed. Her heart sunk. Sydney says she had to pay the tow truck driver $200 to get her car back. But to add insult to injury. The whole steering wheel would like turn all the way around but it wouldn't move the tires. The mechanics at Firestone said that Sydney's car suffered a broken steering column, parts and labor alone amounting to more than $1,000. You know, they were very belligerent and hostile. Sydney's dad is footing the bill, but isn't buying what wheel blockers, that's the towing company, is saying. The car was perfectly operational until the tow truck driver touched it. So to find out about Sydney's complaint, I called wheel blockers myself. This is Xavier Walton with NBC Charlotte. How you doing? The man on the other end of the phone was very professional. I was calling about a recent complaint. He said people are always mad when their car's being towed or booted. After that, they said their car had some other damage that wasn't there. No That's when he cut me off, repeatedly saying, there's no way they could have done that and that he knew the exact car I was talking about. He even went a step further to say that he spoke to every mechanic that he knew and the vehicle's manufacturer claiming they said there's no way they could have broken the steering column. NBC Charlotte dug into the company's history. Will Blockers has a B grade with the Better Business Bureau. Since 2015, the BBB has logged some 36 complaints for the company. Now back to Sydney and her dad. It was operational. You touched it, and now it's not operational. They're in touch with the North Carolina Attorney General and aren't backing down. As for Will Blockers, they're still denying those claims. That they aren't listening to complaints, they're not listening to concerns or claims of damage, they're just immediately denying. I'm Xavier Walton, reporting for NBC Charlotte.